What's up guys, my name is Dragon, and welcome back to the Gaming Planet. Today we're going to be playing some more RL Craft, and if you saw that little opening bit, you'll see that I did do quite a little bit since the last episode, and the reason why I don't have that video recorded, actually I do have footage from that, but the reason why that's not a video in and of itself is because for some reason my audio from my microphone decided just not to record itself. And I've tested it now, so hopefully it's all good and well and fine. But yeah, I've done a lot, so I'm just going to summarize basically what I've done so far. So basically, I started off building up this little new place down here. And the reason why I actually did want to build this little base in the ground is because... Some events that happen can spawn mobs above the surface, and if I have a base above the surface, it'll be very hard to sort of leave. But if I'm underground, they can't really notice me until I'm already out of the base and all that stuff. So it's easier for me just to be able to get out of the base, and maybe easier for me to return into it. I'm, I am going to build a house on top of this eventually, but for right now, this is all I have. I did move everything down here. So that's cool. Uh, if you see this antique atlas, you'll tell that I went around and I looted a few of these, uh, what are they called? Battle towers? I think I looted three of them so far. And the way I did that is I actually got a pet rock. Not like, not, not like that rock, no, not like this. I mean, I could have a pet rock. I guess I'll be name him. What do you, name? Give me a name for this pet rock, I guess. But no, I have this guy. And if I just teleport him to me, all right, well, I'll have to I'll have to dismiss him and, and spawn him again. But uh, he's my flying mount, which I go on and fly to wherever I need to go. So that's pretty cool. I found a really gigantic city, literally right there not too far from my house at all and I went and looted that so I'll show you guys that in a second but I also got this Supreme Bane of Arthropods the highest or almost the highest one level off the highest level of Bane of Arthropods you can get in this game and I just want you guys to know how unbelievably useless this enchantment is because normal Bane of Arthropods goes up to level 5 and generally, you know, that can one-shot spiders and silverfish. You see, now this is about... I think this is level 25? Because it goes Bane of Arthropods. Lesser is, like, less than Bane of Arthropods. So it goes Bane of Arthropods, Advanced Bane of Arthropods, and then Supreme. So it's actually... This is basically Bane of Arthropods uh, 15. Or, well, 14, because it's uh, the fourth one. And I don't need that. I, I wish I got a different enchant than, you know, Bane of Arthropods 14. I just, I don't need that. I don't know why the game is like, hey, let's just give him one of the most useless enchants in the game. Alright, well, I'm gonna make myself a quick diamond pickaxe. I know I can't use it yet because I don't have the high enough level to, but I mean, I have almost three stacks of bottles of enchanting, so I think I'll be alright. I think I can get there with three stacks of enchanting bottles. So I'm just gonna spam all of these. And while I spam all these, actually, I want to talk about something. Uh, so, if you guys are, like, kinda, I guess, not into Minecraft too much, a new game coming out, the new Call of Duty, Call of Duty Cold War, seems really interesting and I really want to record it specifically the zombies because I just really like how Call of Duty does zombies so if you guys are interested then I would like to record some zombies for you just because I think that it will be really cool to look at what they do anyways with that done mining level 16 diamond pickaxes are now useful and then I'm gonna get my defense up to 21 I am three levels away from being able to use serpent armor that is really nice. So I don't know how I didn't actually manage to see the city coming over here because I came over and I saw this thing and I saw this battle tower here but just beyond the little tiny bit of ocean that lies 
right in between, or right after that tiny little battle tower, is this just absolutely gigantic city. And I don't get it. I don't know why this is a thing that can spawn in, but you know it is. Imagine if I found this place instead. Imagine how cool it would be to live here. Now, I'm not going to, just because it sort of feels cheaty just living in a natural spawned city. Because I could easily turn just this entire thing into a, like a mega base. Oh yeah, there's also this really big castle looking thing that I forgot to tell you about. I just found this today. And I'm not- I'm gonna be straight up. I don't really like the look of it. I mean, it looks cool. It's a really, really big structure, and it must have taken the people who made it hours and hours and hours of work. But the entire inside is hollow. There's not, like, multiple rooms or anything. And it just looks very sort of, like, over-decorated. Because you can see all the walls have, like, tons of different little out, like, things. And it looks all, like, broken and crumbly and just very, very textury. And that's not the kind of buildings that I like to do. It looks really cool. But at the same time, I don't like how, how detailed they made it. I also don't know what these guys are. They seem friendly. I mean, they don't really, they're not really attacking me at all. They just sort of fly around and do weird spins. But this is the dungeon I was talking about, and the reason why I need a diamond pickaxe, as you can see right there, there's obsidian. So it's hard to break into these things, so I'm just gonna break in through the top here, and hopefully everything goes well. But first, before I actually do do anything, I'm going to drink some water, because hydration. So these are, I think these are where the Vex spawners are. I am going to quickly get rid of those, because these guys can fly through walls. Hello, people. How are you guys doing? I'm getting rid of all your spawners, because I don't like you. You guys, you guys, you guys got this. Ow. You guys hurt, actually. Kind of hard. Kind of bad. Oh, no. Die. Alright. I think that was all of them. Ooh. Diamond. I will take that. I'm gonna take this bandage just for a quick... Never mind, I'll take the med kit over that. Alright. Uh, heart dust, yeah, I'll take that because I can make that into extra hearts if I need to. Extra bandage, never too bad to take. Oh, there's another one. Where's he at? Ow. There we go. Okay. What's down here? Is there skeletons? There's one. It's mainly zombies. Okay. I can deal with you guys. I'm gonna kill this skeleton because he has actual range. And then you know what? Yeah, you just go in and sort of grind everything for a bit. Why not? Oh, this is full of loot though. Jeez, look at all this. Another potion ring of strength. Umbrium ingots, ender pearls, diamonds. That's kind of cool. I could leave my guys to go in there and just take out the people, but they're not going to do any damage to these guys. Let alone me. I'm not going to do any damage to these guys either. And there's the rare one. Alright. Uh, I might have to just leave this be for a time. Or, you know what I can do? There's gunpowder down there. And a lot of gunpowder. And there's some sand right there, and that entire place is obsidian. I could probably drop some TNT down here and stand over this little hole so they all get attracted over here and then just blow them all up. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. How much TNT can I make? Four? Alright. That might be enough to kill these guys. I don't think they have blast protection on their armor. Hey, you guys can see me, right? You guys should totally come over here and then die to me blowing you up with TNT. That'd be pretty great, wouldn't it? Let's, let's try it. Yo! Bye-bye! Oh, that works very much. That works way better than I thought it would. Now that we don't- oh, never mind. Okay, yep. Come on, people. Come on, get over here. There we 
go. That might that's gonna work well, I can tell. Yeah, there we go. This works actually a lot better than I thought it would. And let's just loot what's in here. Uh, I don't need that. Tons of bandages and rotten flesh, obviously from me blowing up their entire army of zombies. XP tome? I actually will... Potion Ring of Regeneration. If you guys want to know how rare this thing is... Hold on, I'll show you guys how just how to make it. It requires... It requires another star to make it. I could probably kill the Wither, to be fair. Another XP tome and another heart contain. Okay, this this is a, this was a good idea. That those TNT that was a that, that big brain plays by yours truly. Anyways, extra heart. Um, is that another one? That's a ring of strength. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this resistance one because this regeneration one is so much better. You guys can have that. You can have the resistance one. I don't want it anymore. There we go. Level 24. I can get my armor and I can finally do all that. Attack. I can get up to level 20. So that was... that's pretty, pretty good. Alright, so let me grab the rest of this. I don't know how much of these shiny skills I need for this armor. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna look. So I need two, four, Six, eight. Literally, I have 14, so I have enough. So I think with the chest plate, it's these two. Tide Guardian. Okay, that's what it is. Tide Guardian, uh, helmet. There we go. Pants, I believe, is down here. And then I believe boots is down here. Maybe it's two. No, okay, what, what, do, the, what do the boots take? It's the other. That's the other way. But there we go. Full tied guardian armor. Some of these rerolls are pretty bad, especially on the chest plate and the langings. So I'm gonna. I think there's like a reforging table. Yeah, reforging station. Stone slabs, crafting table, obsidian anvil. That's easy. Uh, chest plate. That. Tough. I'll take it. And. Dented. Tough again. Okay. Oh wait, also these Aussie liners. Now I can put them in here. So you just take this, take that, bam. Aussie liner. There we go. Now I will hopefully not, you know, burn in the nether if I go there. Something else I actually do want to make is this dragon's eye. It requires kind of a bit of stuff. Three glowing gems and a ring of enchanted eyes, which takes just that. That's pretty easy. But you need a dragon skull of fire, which I actually think I gathered one up. If I still have it. Here it is. I found a dead dragon in the desert, so I have a fire skull, but I don't know if I have the glowing gems to do it. Four glowing ingots and four glowing powder in a diamond block equals a glowing gem. I only have six glowing gems. And to make uh, glowing gems or glowing ingots, I mean, I have six glowing ingots. And to make glowing ingots itself, it's glowstone, blaze powder, and silver. Six in there, and then glowstone, bam, glowing ingots. Sick. All right. So I do have enough. There we go. Dragon's eye. Also gives me one armor. Night vision and. Uh, I think it targets an ore. I don't know why people make this. It might be for the- oh, the fire resistance, that's why. Okay. Also, I might go look around villages for- I'm gonna bring emeralds with me and some books. Because I'm gonna go try and find villagers that have really good, um, protection book trades, because I really need protection books. I have Prop 4 on my boots. But I want that on, you know, everything. Just so I don't get like three shot by serpents and such. I went around and spent the rest of the time recording just going around looking for villagers, which didn't actually work out. I got a few enchants, mainly for weapons and such, but I never actually got any protection enchants. But this is where I'm going to end off the video. 
just because that's all I did for the rest of it. If you guys did enjoy this video, then do be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. It always helps me out and lets me know that you guys like the content I'm putting out, as well as the little notification bell to be notified whenever I actually do upload videos and such. So yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit of a longer one, but you know, it had five hours of recording to edit down, so kind of hard to pick and choose what to put into you know, like, less than 20 minutes of video. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all later. See you guys.